the good news is that the sacrifice of the second national lockdown is bringing forth fruit, showing a continued fall in cases in Ealing and right across London, including the northeast of London. So for the week up to the 29th of November, the infection rate in Ealing is 170.9 per 100,000. That's a fall of just over 15% from the week before and means that we have the 10th highest rate of infection in London. The highest rate in London uh, is currently in Redbridge with 306.3 and Havering with 287. Further good news this week is that a vaccine has been approved. The NHS is putting plans in place to start vaccinating people. The whole process will take months, not weeks, and we are told that the most vulnerable will be first. The NHS will contact you about an appointment. You don't need to do anything. It's really important to follow the restrictions, including uh, the hands, face, space rules, so that we save lives and help the NHS manage over the winter months. Now, we're now in the new Tier 2 COVID restrictions. The main one to remember is that we are still not able to mix households, whether it's in our own homes or in public places indoors, like restaurants, cafes or pubs that are serving substantial meals. And they are all now open again, along with non-essential shops. In our parks and public spaces, outdoor gym equipment, skate parks and tennis courts will reopen over the next few days. Also, uh, Ealing Central Library uh, will reopen for browsing and collection of books, uh, as well as returning books. Also, uh, Northolt Leisure Centre Library and Acton Leisure Centre Library will be open soon for uh, browsing as well. And at the moment, you can return books and, and click and collect as well. All our leisure centres have reopened, as has Hanwell Zoo, Gunnersbury Museum and Pitts Hanger Manor and Gallery where you can see the fantastic Hogarth exhibition, London Voices, London Lives. Sone's Kitchen, the restaurant next to Pitsanger, has also reopened under new management with rotating guest chefs. I'd really recommend that. Now, this weekend's Small Business Saturday, and I'd urge everyone to put your face mask on and go and support our local businesses. They've had a, an incredibly tough time and are fighting for survival. And this time of year is critical in normal times for their survival and success. So it's even more important that people do go and support their local businesses. A big thank you to everyone who is following the rules and helping us to save lives and keep Ealing safe.